We just got final confirmation from Ross Young, who is the most accurate leaker in the display industry, that Apple's new 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros with the M4, M4 Pro, and M4 Max chips will for sure be coming later this year. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five different things you should expect, as well as how all of these new MacBook Pros are gonna compare to the Windows laptop competition, like the new X Elite chip, the new AMD HX370 that we just started testing and of course, Intel's upcoming Lunar Lake chip. But before we get into all those performance charts and differences, I've gotta go through this list of five different things to expect, starting with number one, which is unfortunately no design changes, which has been confirmed by Mark Gurman, the most accurate Apple leaker. So we should expect the same design as before, the same as I have right here with the same colors, because we've had zero leaks in terms terms of design changes for the M4 family of MacBook Pros. Now the M5 series is where we are gonna be seeing some new design updates, potentially a thinner design. Now for thing number two, we're expecting Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 on the new M4 series MacBook Pros. And this is a really big deal because Wi-Fi 7 is the best Wi-Fi version we've had in probably a decade. It is a lot faster, it's more efficient, but the main benefit is that it actually seamlessly connects and integrates the different bands into one automatically by itself, so you no longer have to go in and create different Wi-Fi names and passwords. Now for thing number three, do not expect any display technology changes because according to Ross Young's leak from today, he says that there's still 14 and 16 inch display panels and we are expecting them to be exactly the same with no changes. And to be honest, they're still very good. They have mini LED and 120 Hertz promotion, which I love, especially since you can get it on the base 14 inch for only $1,600. So don't expect the rumored OLED because it's not happening this year. It's rumored to be coming as early as 2026. Now for thing number four, honestly, I'm expecting Apple to throw in some sort of secret surprising update that none of us are expecting, which they do kind of like every year. Like for example, the 15 inch Mac MacBook Air received better speakers with the six speaker system. Nobody was expecting that. So I'm thinking Apple surprises us with something this year. Maybe they're gonna increase the standard brightness from 600 nits to 700 to sweeten the deal, make it even better. Maybe they're gonna add an additional port to all of these laptops. Who knows, maybe even Face ID, but I do think Apple needs something else to add to sweeten the deal. And now for thing number five, we of course have the new M4 series chips with the M4, the M4 Pro, and the M4 Max. The base model 14-inch MacBook Pro is gonna come with the M4 chip, likely for the same $1,600 price. But going further, the M4 chip also has a secret under the hood. It actually has four Thunderbolt controllers versus the previous two, which means that we could potentially get that third Thunderbolt port that the higher-end MacBook Pros get. And now for the M4 Pro chip, this is gonna come on the higher-end MacBook Pros, which start at $2,000 and they come with faster SSDs and 18 gigs of RAM. But on top of that, I predict that this year we are gonna see more GPU cores, up to 20 cores on the highest end M3 Pro chip. And now finishing off with the M4 Max chip, I actually do expect the M4 Max to get even more cores, up to an 18 core CPU with Apple adding two more E-cores. And on top of that, I do think they're gonna add more GPU cores, probably from up to 40 GPU cores to 42, or who knows, maybe even more, but I wanna keep my guess a little bit conservative. So now let's get into comparing Apple's M4 series chips to the Windows competition, including the Galaxy Book 4 Edge 16 inch for $1,750, which has the best SKU of the X Elite, as well as the best AMD HX370 laptop that we just tested, which is the ProArt P16 from Asus, which by the way, has dedicated NVIDIA graphics for $2,700. And since the Lunar Lake chip isn't out yet, we only have some leaked scores to work off of, so we can kind of guesstimate the performance in some of these tests. Starting off with Geekbench 6's single core test, you can see that all of the M4 MacBook Pros 
are absolutely killing it. You can see we had 3,728 points from the M4 iPad Pro, and the Pro and Max chips are gonna be a little bit faster, just absolutely destroying the Windows competition. Then if we look at Speedometer 3.0 for web browsing and web app snappiness, once again, the M4 chips are absolutely dominating the rest of the Windows competition, which is stuck there about 23 to 25 in terms of this test. We're looking at close to 40 in speedometer. And now for multi-core performance in Geekbench 6, you can see that the M4 chip is now almost as fast as the X Elite and the HX370. It's definitely faster than Lunar Lake since that chip is really focused on battery life. But look at the M4 Pro, over 18,000 points, destroying the Windows competition, and the M4 Max is just on a whole nother level. 23,257 is my guesstimate for that chip based on everything we know, that is just insane. And then if we take that over to Cinebench 2024's 10 minute stress test for the CPU, you can see that the M4 chip is lagging behind those other computers. Of course, it's $1,600, it's not that fast, but the good news is that the M4 Pro chip is now sitting right there, neck and neck with the HX370, which is very impressive for a $2,000 MacBook. I think that's a lot of performance is very impressive, but once again, the M4 Max is just destroying them. For $3,500, yes, it's expensive, but it's just so much faster than the rest. And finally, looking at graphics performance, we have 3D Mark Steel Nomad Lite, and here you can see that the Qualcomm is definitely lagging behind, and now the M4 chip is actually outperforming both the HX370 and the Lunar Lake Intel Arc 2, which is very impressive. But take a look at the M4 Pro chip. It just flies ahead of the Windows laptops, and the M4 Max with the 42 core, which is a guesstimate based on the 40 core that I have in the office, over 100 FPS, just insane. But lastly, I do wanna mention that we did test the ProArt P16, and that comes with an RTX 4070 laptop GPU built in for a great value, $2,700, plus of course it has Windows gaming support, but that thing is still behind the M4 Max. It just shows how fast the M4 Max chip is, and keep in mind, that's integrated graphics with the M4 Max, absolutely insane performance. If only we had better game support. I wish we did and I hope we do soon because that performance is absolutely nuts. So there you guys go. Those were all the charts and performance for the M4, the M4 Pro and the M4 Max and how they compare to the Windows laptop competition with the new chips. I think Apple's gonna have a huge comeback once these new MacBook Pros come out, likely in either October or November. I think it's definitely worth waiting because the performance is going to be killer. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know down in the comment section below. Definitely subscribe for more and check out one of those two videos right there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.